Welcome to a video from the thegistlife.com, new Windows 11 build to look at. This is 25169 for Windows Insiders on the dev channel. Not a huge amount of change in this for non-Windows Insiders. Uh, for If you're um, an IT administrator, there is a new multi-app kiosk mode where you can basically lock down Windows and not only approve certain apps to run and that's it. So, quite handy if you've got it in a... Uh, in, in, a, in a place where you only want people to use certain applications, you know, lock it right down. So maybe it's in a warehouse or in a touchscreen terminal, that kind of thing. But for normal Windows Insiders, there's just a few setting changes really. As I've just opened the right and you see we've still got the taskbar overflow that was introduced in the previous build. Interesting, that's actually gone out onto the beach channel now as well. So Microsoft must be thinking of rolling that out soon. So. Uh, that's that's a, a nice feature. I like that, especially when you're in a smaller device or a tablet or something like that. Okay, so what other things have changed in this? Um, Windows Spotlight has now got a new uh, theme in there. Let's go and check that out. So there's one of the new Windows Spotlight themes. In fact, this virtual machine has been activated, so I don't think I can actually pick one of those. Um, but I, I'm going to surface go ahead that. And so you can pick that, and actually you can customise your own as well. So. Um, yeah, so you can have this new uh, Windows Spotlight theme that kind of rotates around different images. Another change in settings, which is quite an interesting one, is that um, settings now supports managing apps that are only supported by um, Control Panel in the past. So if you go into into apps and you've got the manage option, say something like Steam, um, where you couldn't actually manage it from here, you had to go into your Control Panel. That's been added in there as well. So I don't think we've got Steam installed on this VM, but uh, that's been added. The rest of the changes are just fixes. They fixed some issues with the taskbar crashing when you launch even Teams. They fixed some issues with Ex uh, Explorer crashing uh, with it due to the taskbar overflow. So that's when you when you go through the uh, the taskbar overflow. I haven't seen those issues. They've uh, improved some touch key in, uh, inputs as well. It's now a little faster as well. Uh, they fixed some issues with Game Bar and uh, some Windows security uh, issues. There are just a few known issues with this build. They're investing, uh, investigate reports that SQL Management Studio is failing to launch some assigners. That was introduced a couple of builds ago, I seem to remember. And anti-cheat software may cause your PC to bug check crash. That's an old one as well. File Explorer up arrow is missing certain tabs. That is also an old one. Or misaligned, I should say, the, the up arrow. Uh, of course, we've got... Uh, Interesting. I don't have tabs on here as well at the moment, so uh, this feature seems to come and go. So I've no no file explorer tabs at the moment, but I have seen that. Um, I'm sure I had that last time I looked at this. Um, the widgets calculate the, the widgets notification down here in the bottom may be misaligned as well. So um, that's it with this build. So no real new features in task. Um, Tab's gone away, that's interesting, uh, but the uh, overflow is still there. So uh, the features come and go in the insider uh, build because they switch them on, Microsoft switch them on and switch them off depending on what they want to test. And if you go onto the big channel, you'll see some of these features are, are on, like this one and the tabs as well. So thanks for watching this video. You can find out more on thegistlifes.com. I'm at Ice Dixon on Twitter.